are the might of the antagonizer. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the Mechanist. You and your pathetic tin can are no match for my army. <laughs> the citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The Mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth with this Are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. The, um, Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the Ant Agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The Mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Oh, that's terrific! I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide, and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Great! I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. If it'll help, I'm glad to. But one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, and it got real nasty. The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town, until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal, because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I most heartily agree. Glad to help, glad to help. You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Enjoy! Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I founded the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. 
Hmm, I think you're right. And the specialization might play to their eccentricities. It could work. And I could act as their representative in this matter. Goodness knows I've known them for years, so I should be able to speak for them. Just let me know what you suggest in the way of specialties, and I'll let them know to focus on that area. Lucky Harith kind of dropped off the map. Or knowing his wares, he may have burnt a hole straight through it. Our man Crow handles most armor and clothing out on the trail. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel long ago. It takes a fair amount of capital to expand into higher quality material, you know. Improving Crow's wardrobe would require a one-time investment of, say, 200 caps. Excellent. I'll send word to Crow right away. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? Ah, then you'll be wanting Doc Hoff, or the good doctor, as he prefers. He prescribes everything from a good meal to stim packs to things that'll make your brain get up and dance. The good doctor's lab equipment isn't cheap. It'll cost about 200 caps for him to offer higher quality material. Excellent. I'll send word to the good doctor right away. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials, or at least offer more of them. Excellent. I'll see to it right away. All right, you're the boss. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. Good luck with those two troublemakers. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Fine. Hi. Whatever. I'm Machete, and I've got better things to do than talk with you. Scram. I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. Busy. Go ask someone else. This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the idiot. Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me! But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer! The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. And when they fight in town, it's incredible! There's all these lasers and biting and blood, and it's crazy. And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. <sighs> yeah, I guess. There's no one to play with. Everyone is so serious. It really kind of sucks. But the antagonizer's strong and forceful, and the mechanist, he's smart and good. They make things fun. Well, exciting anyway. I bet it's awesome to be them. Maybe they'll let me be their sidekick. You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. That's easy. The antagonizer's suit makes her super agile, but I guess her ants are pretty weak on their own. Just watch out for her royal guard. The mechanist robots are a lot tougher. And his suit makes him super smart. I don't think he has any weaknesses. Well, 
maybe one. Since he's a good guy, he's not as ruthless as the antagonizer. Like, he'd never hurt an innocent like me, if he could help it. I don't know much about her, except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her aunts down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says, don't encourage the poor boy. I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot, and I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge and the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless, maybe you're going to be a superhero too. You could be called Super Humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants! Well, okay. It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places, because the raiders don't bother us. But I've never been anywhere else, so I don't know. Say hi to the mechanist for me. Morning. Just stumbled into town? He sure picked a fine day for it, with the crazies out there. Here. Have a drink on the house. Welcome to Canterbury. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. We do our best. Well, Dom and Ro do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much but don't expect any more freebies. You mean apart from having cheesy names? Actually, I think I might know something useful. One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants, not long before she showed up here, but they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Best place I ever worked in, and I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. I don't really see what more a man could ask for. Yeah, see you. I got newcomer to town, huh? Well, I'm Dominic Delisadro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. Popular activities around town are trading, listening to row yap, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art, unless you're planning on stealing anything. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And it means Machete and I get to save on ammo. Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. I don't know who she is, other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. She wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke, but at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. 
Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop, just thinking about fighting that ant agonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. You probably wouldn't have to worry about the other one. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots, and that ant agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Ro may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done, one way or the other. Fine by me. Canterbury's a good town. Rose done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. Life and death matters. Putting down thieves. Protecting people from raiders who are short-sighted or stupid enough to attack, that sort of thing. Pretty much. Anything the man can't solve by talking at it. And don't misunderstand. He can solve a lot of things that way. I'm about the rarest thing out here in the wastes. A mercenary who lived long enough to retire. I used to sell my services around here, so it was a natural place to settle down. Not a bad sort of retirement, honestly. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. Bye. What are you doing in here? How did you get past my defenses? Did the antagonizer send you? Speak now, citizen, or I'll be forced to detain you until I can ascertain your true motives. I realize you mean well, but I'm afraid you're being naive. The antagonizer is a madwoman, and the only thing that will stop her is force. As much as I wish peace were an option, the antagonizer is too deluded, too inhuman to listen to reason. Sadly, sometimes the scaly claw of tyranny must be destroyed by the cold, unfeeling pincers of justice. Long ago, I was a mere citizen like yourself. Beyond a talent for computers, I had no power in this world. But then the antagonizer attacked and killed someone very dear to me. The damage was too much for me to fix her. But I knew what I had to do. That tragedy burned away the weakness of my previous life. And in the fires of revenge, the mechanist was forged. Aha! That's the spirit, chum. You seem quite capable. You got to me, after all. You can be my official sidekick. I'm afraid I don't have another suit, though. But we can deal with that problem later. We've got bigger ants to fry. Now, how to proceed? The antagonizer does not listen to reason. She does not understand true human emotions, like mercy or love. She's nothing more than an animal, and you can no more talk her into surrender than you can play chess with a mole rat. But I will not stop you from trying. I only hope that you live long enough to learn the error of your ways.
So at last, you've penetrated the court of the antagonizer. Queen of all ants! Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Ha <laughs> ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. You're wrong. Humans are cruel, hurtful beasts. They can't be saved. We can't be. I can't. I can't go back. But I can't keep doing this. I can't be as bad as they were. Please, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please, let me have another chance. Thank you. I, I don't know how I can... Just thank you. Yes, citizen? Well done. You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last t Quickly then. Evil never pauses to contemplate its actions, so I see little reason that we should either. Quite all right. No I can hardly leave it lying around for someone else to find, now can I? The threat of the antagonizer must be put to an end forever. I must not let her threaten all that humanity holds dear. Even now, twisted souls may seek to continue her legacy. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. And for your loyal assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Say hi to the mechanist for me. With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Damn near all of them, depending on which caravans in town. Guns, armor, food, junk. Pretty much everyone swings by the old circle eventually. Everyone but slavers, that is. It's a hassle to transport their wares, as they say. Just as well, eh? Anything else I can do to welcome you to town? That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. Bye.
You like that? Uh.